What's up guys, Mike Vo here, your modern Asian dad. Today we are in the Dominican Republic in Punta Cana. We stayed at the Excellence El Carmen. It is an all-inclusive resort for adults only. It's my first time staying in all-inclusive. We paid about $3,500 to fly from San Francisco. When you first check in, you walk down these stairs and you'll be greeted by this bar. This is the main focal point of the whole resort. Everybody hangs out here, especially at night. We have your drink because it's all free, it's included. This place is absolutely gorgeous. The building and architecture is very sleek and modern. We'll explore more of the resort later in the video. Here's a tour of the Junior Swim Up Suite. I forgot to film my own room, so my sister-in-law helped with this portion of the video. The bathroom is a decent size. Everything is very clean and modern looking inside also. It comes with everything you need as expected in a 5 star resort. The only thing it doesn't have is a door that connects from your bedroom to the bathroom. It's just all open. The shower is a rainfall shower head which I loved. I took showers there like 2-3 times a day. It was amazing. The room has a large amount of storage for your luggages. I used the provided safe to store all my camera gear and my valuables in there. The king size bed is nice and comfy. It reminded me of my own bed at home. I slept very well in it with no issues. There's also USB ports on both sides of the bed so you could charge your phone. All of the food and alcohol is included so you could drink and eat as much as you like. I was so mind blown because I've never experienced this before where you just eat and drink as much as you like. The mini fridge is stocked with water, soda, juice, beer, you name it. And please remember that you can get refills of everything for free. You just gotta call them and they'll bring it to you. The room also comes with a 42 inch TV. There's a nice sitting area here with a chair and a couch. You would eat your room service here if you decide to order it. The fruits are real. They are unlimited also, but we didn't order any fruits in our room. We also had a mini hot tub. It's pretty cool because you could turn it on and turn on the jets whenever you like, and you could drain it at the end of the night. We used it multiple times throughout our stay here. This junior swim up suite gives you access to this large pool where everybody on the first floor has access to. As you can see, it has a whole bunch of sitting areas and laying areas here, which we use almost every single day. And honestly, we are one of the only people that use this pool. So it was very, very quiet most of the time. So what's there to do at an all-inclusive resort? You eat and you drink. This is where you can get your morning coffee, juice, snacks, etc. It's basically open up this fridge and I would grab a yogurt every day. There's juice, there's sandwiches, a bunch of bakery items. We tipped our barista about a dollar every time we order a coffee or so. Remember, you could get gelato here too. This place called the kitchen table is the main area to eat in the mornings. They're only open in the mornings and it's a buffet. It basically has everything you need. Man, it's overwhelming actually. You get bread, you get cheeses. There's pastries such as muffins, crackers, croissants, donuts, <laughs> you name it, they have it. favorite thing to make is the omelets here. You get to customize it with any ingredients you like and they make it right in front of you. This is my favorite restaurant here. The best things are the scallops and the ribeye steak. It is top notch. Amazing. It was really hard for me to believe that you just sit down at any restaurant and you could order as much as you like because it is all inclusive. I wanted to show you guys my favorite restaurant and my least favorite restaurant. This right here is my least favorite. It is Spice Asian Cuisine. To experience this hibachi grill, 
you just make a reservation with the concierge and the food was very very mediocre I actually do not recommend eating here you have many other restaurants to choose from so I would rather spend my time eating elsewhere but it's a good experience if you haven't done hibachi the grill is a steakhouse and I ordered the rib out here it's my second favorite restaurant in this whole resort it's pretty good I recommend going here if you can I kind of wish I ate it again one more time before I left since you get unlimited alcohol at this resort, we drink this Coco Loco every single day. This drink is basically coconut juice mixed with coconut milk and some alcohol. It's delicious. Even if you're not a heavy drinker like I am, I still recommend this drink. The alcohol honestly isn't that strong here, but it's quite refreshing. There are two food trucks here. And honestly, the food truck's not that great. Um, we only got it for a quick bite if we didn't want to sit down at a restaurant. The juice and smoothie bar here is a 10 out of 10. We drank multiple drinks every single day. There's no alcohol, it's just a regular smoothie bar. Amazing. There are many different activities every single day. This one shows you how a traditional Dominican dish is prepared. You see to mix all of the veggies and the meat together and it creates like a stew or a gumbo type of dish. It was actually pretty good. This was my very first taste of Dominican food ever. So after eating and drinking multiple times every single day, you got to go to the gym. The gym has everything you need and honestly, it wasn't that packed. As I mentioned before, this is my very first time at an all-inclusive resort. And this is an official five-star resort also. The customer service here is absolutely amazing. It's a 10 out of 10. They upkeep and maintain this place in pristine condition. I did not see any trash or any mess at all. If you're looking to go to a five-star all-inclusive resort, and if you don't want to bring your kids, this is an amazing place. It's all adults only, as mentioned earlier. And I cannot recommend it enough. The only thing that I didn't really like is the seaweed on the beach. There's so much. But they do try to clean it though, but you cannot avoid it at all. This worker here was really cool. We were just swimming at the pool and he came up to us with a coconut or multiple coconuts. I guess he has to climb up these coconut trees and chop them down before they fall on people. So he's just maintaining everything. And he cut up some fresh coconuts for us. He gave us like multiple coconuts also. There are multiple things for you to do every single day. We chose to go to this archery class and my wife, she's really good. She hit the target. I couldn't even hit anything. This cigar rolling demonstration was actually pretty cool. The Caribbean is known for having some of the best cigars and this man is showing how cigars are made. It's pretty cool to experience even if you're not a smoker. This excursion was really cool. It was only a hundred bucks and they picked you up from the hotel. I didn't carry my phone because I couldn't secure it while going on the zip line. So here are some photos. We paid extra for the photos package.
Remember to bring extra clothes and a towel because you will get really, really muddy on that buggy ride. I highly recommend going to this place and I'm really glad that we paid for this experience because I never experienced anything like it. Going to Sayona Island was our last excursion for our trip. I think we paid about $165 for everything. I'll put a link in the description below. This is our tour guide Melvin and he is amazing at what he does. He goes out here every single day. He even took us to a turtle conservatory and it's my very first time seeing a baby sea turtle up front. It was really cool. You get to hang out at this private beach for a little while so it allowed us to do a quick photo shoot and allowed me to fly my drone to check out the whole area. The sand is nice and soft. The water is clear and warm. I've never seen a more beautiful beach in real life before. You know, you get to see these beaches on TV or on YouTube or whatnot, but I've never experienced this beach before. This area of the water is only like two feet deep and it's really, really cool because you get to hold starfish and just hang out in the warm water. Lunch was also provided by Melvin and his team. He also provided water, juice, soda, rum and coke. It was really good. The experience was really nice. I left a link in the description to book this tour. So make sure you go here if you ever go to the Dominican Republic. Thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.